Copilot and Loop helps you collaborate smarter. And these are nine powerful ways that you can draft, organize, and stay aligned with your team. So let's nerd out. Let's start off with the essentials, which is how Copilot can help us draft content. There are two ways to get started. If you click anywhere within a page in Microsoft Loop, then you'll see a little Copilot icon on the far right. Alternatively, you can press the forward slash key on your keyboard and start to type out draft page content. Then we can select that. Now here, a prompt box will appear. So we can use normal language to collaborate with Copilot. And we're going to have Copilot help us draft a plan for the fall fair. But I don't want to send Copilot on a wild goose chase and give me a random output. I want to curate this to an outline that we already have for the business plan. So in order to do that, we can press this little plus icon, or we can once again, press that forward slash key on the keyboard and start to type out the name of our file. Press enter and then select, and then enter again to generate. Now, when we reference files with Copilot, it's important to note that only Copilot will have access to the file, but everyone can see what Copilot generates. So you just need to be mindful about who has access to that file and who has access to this loop page to ensure that you aren't sharing confidential information. And here we can see that output from Copilot and that has quickly helped us draft a plan for the fall fair. Number two is how we can chat with Copilot to gain insights from this page. So we will go up to this little chat icon on the top right, and then this will pull up the chat area with Copilot where we can understand, ask, or search for information. But in our case, Mike and I have been working through this fall fair plan, and we've got quite a few comments on this page. So I could select each of these and figure out what are the outstanding action items, or I can simply ask Copilot to reference the outstanding action items from comments on this page. So Copilot is now going to review all of the comments within this document and then provide me with a summary of the outstanding action items. Now, the first item on here is that I need to work on a timeline for the event and then post this on our website. And Mike and I just had a meeting about this. So this leads us to number three, which is how we can reference files for meeting notes within the chat area. So let's go up to the top here and go new chat. Now this time I'm going to ask Copilot to draft the event timeline verbatim. And then once again, we will press that forward slash key and search for those meeting notes. So we'll see here that I've got the fall fair events timeline meeting. And then as a subtext below that, we have meeting notes. So I know for sure that this is that meeting notes loop page. We can select that and then now we can press enter. So using the word verbatim is a good descriptive word when you are chatting with Copilot, especially if you don't want it to change any of the content. And we can see here that Copilot is now pulling that information for us um, so that we don't have to go and search for the file and then copy the contents that way. Right. So here is our timeline. I'm just going to copy this and then paste it into a new page, which leads us to number four, which is how we can have Copilot help us rewrite or refine our content. So you can select your desired text and then a formatting bar will appear and you can select rewrite with Copilot. So here I'm going to ask Copilot to tabulate as well as I've defined the headers that I want in my table. You could simply say tabulate and then Copilot would guess what you would want the headers to be, but by clearly defining the headers that you want in your output, you're able to get a better result or a better response from Copilot. So here we can see that we've got a beautiful table with those consistent headers. Number five is how we can view the authors and history of Copilot content. So when you draft content with Copilot, you'll notice this vertical bar, and that just lets you know that this content has been created with AI. If you select that little icon, then you have that prompt box appear again. So we can provide additional prompts, for example, bold the event column. And we can also view who has provided these prompts. So you'll see your team members initials, you can toggle between the different versions. And if you want to undo any of those changes, you can simply click that little undo button. So now that our table is coming along, I'm almost ready to put this in the website. I just want to finalize the content with Mike. 
Number six is collaborating with our team members via comments. And the easiest way to do that is to hover over some text on your page and then select this little grid icon on the left and then go to comment. So here I can press the at sign and then I can start to search for my team members. So I'll start to type for Mike, then press enter. And now I can add my message. So adding a comment to the page is similar to sending an email, but I don't need to switch applications. And this also ensures that my conversations and my content are together in one place. So let's now pop into Mike's account and take a look. So when we mention team members, they will automatically receive an email with the entire loop page embedded as a loop component. So Mike can now provide updates to this page that will stay in sync and update in real time. And he can also select the comment and reply or simply leave an emoji to let me know that it's good to go. Now that we have the green light for Mike, we are ready to put this table onto our website. But I'm a newbie at website building. So number seven is how we can have Copilot draft us code. We're going to select the little Copilot icon on the top right. And we will ask Copilot to generate HTML code to put this table on our website. I could probably leave it at generate HTML code for this table. But by saying for my website, we are putting this into context for Copilot. And here is our output from Copilot. So when Copilot generates codes for you, it puts it into a code block and there are some different views. So we can select this little drop down. We could view just the code, just the preview, or we can even do a horizontal split. And once you know that your code is ready to go, we can copy the code and then paste it into a code block within our website. So we are moving along on our project. And number eight is how we can add an executive summary to our page with Copilot. Let's press the forward slash key. We'll go summarize, summarize page. And then now Copilot will automatically pull a summary for your document. And as a little tip, if you don't like this output, then you can always just provide a custom prompt to Copilot or even have Copilot rewrite it into the specific layout that you would like. And number nine is how we can use the recap feature to track changes to our page. So we can go up to the ellipses on the top right and go recap and create new recap. And here Copilot is automatically going to generate a summary of the changes that have been made to this document. But a lesser known feature here is this little drop down filter. So if we select that, then we can define a time frame as well as specify if these are going to be changes just for yourself or for everyone on your team. Once you have those parameters set, then we can recap your changes and then post. Now, the great thing about the recap feature is that it also syncs with the status area. And if you want to learn more about how this status area can help your team manage projects, then you can check out this video here.